Welcome, 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 welcome. Let's do my little Aries. Let's do my Ramskis. So we're gonna do raw love first half of January, okay? Um, please make sure you are watching all signs. You will relate this time around to every single sign, okay? Um, because I'm doing it in like a planetary thing, and you're ruled by Mars, okay? Um, if for some reason you guys are searching for color, okay, let me just turn you up. Would you be so heartless? If, I'm not saying you guys are heartless, I'm just saying, okay. Um, if by some reason I can't, um, ooh, look at that. That's exactly what I want it. Um... Gorgeous. <sighs> Sorry. Um, all right. So, colors. Red, black, and white. Okay. Um, if you're drawn to colors, those would, those would be good. Okay. Um, if for some reason you're feeling like a, a cream or a brown or a yellowish greenish, like a Virgo color... Those might be good for you, too. I feel like pastels, though, for you right now. So I don't know what that's all about. But your colors are red, black, and white, okay? So let's see what's happening with you for the first half of January. Aries, Aries. Oh, dang it. Happy squirrel. Okay. I'm going to leave it. Um, is Something's a mystery. Something that's happened with you. Something that's happening is a straight up mystery. Um, I feel like I don't, I don't normally read these reverse, but I'll take them into consideration. Um, something did not go the way you expected. It, you know, because this can either be good or bad with the happy squirrel and you're feeling trapped, you're feeling um, concealed. It, it's something, okay? So something did not go your way. And it's over. Something's over. I don't know if you had somebody in and out of your life, in and out of your life, somebody that doesn't know how to make decisions. Um, you obviously fell for them. There's no question that you fell for this person. Um, but what's happening here is something came to a complete end to be resurrected, to come back around. All right, because... You're gonna you're gonna start a new path with this person. Living young and wild and free. Just looking up something. Combination with the numbers. Yeah, things being manifested. You definitely, somebody definitely went through an awakening here. So something definitely had to end because somebody did not want to step outside of their comfort zone. Okay. Um, this is being driven by the divine, but something did not go right. Okay, um, but again, it, it had to go down the way it did to come back around, 
So something completely ended. There was somebody that was most definitely, sorry, I didn't notice you couldn't see. There was somebody that was most definitely, okay, um, in and out, somebody who couldn't make a decision whether it's you or this other person, and, and something did not go your way or their way, that is for sure. But this is coming back around, full circle. I think you guys are seeing fours a lot, or at least threes. Um, I can't tell who you're working with. This person makes you happy, though, believe it or not. This person makes you happy. <clears throat> um, so this is a relationship that ended. And tell me about the wheel. This is something that just didn't go in the right direction. All right, the world, and it was reversed. So, yeah, see, it, it completed. It cycle completed. I don't know if you're dealing with a fixed sign or not. It's not really what I'm looking at. It, it's just more or less... Um, Something that started, ended, it, it went in a complete circle. It, it went around the wheel. It went around the galaxy. You know, it probably took a good solid year, if not more. I feel like this is how you feel towards them. Or vice versa. But this is most definitely coming back. Tell me about this Two of Swords. This was a decision whether or not to connect with somebody. Um, and we have the Knight of Swords now coming in. All right, with, with a message. Clear as day. And it has to do with your future. And then you got the Lovers, okay? So There's definitely going to be some conflict, but I don't think it's anything that you can't resolve. I definitely think you can resolve it. Okay, so... Let's see what your lessons were with this situation, because this is a whole cycle. So this was your 2018 lesson, so let's hope you learned it. I I'm guessing, I mean, fear is definitely a big thing when it comes to love here. But I just, I really hope you learned this lesson because this is coming back around. You know, can it be a good situation? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it can be. I mean, I will find out what's happening there, but let's just find out what your lessons were. Okay, um, there was a lot of doubt, you know, somebody wanted to know the answers. I want, I want, I want, I want, okay? Somebody was so disciplined to put their mind towards this. I mean, somebody was relentless. Oh, this sounds like me. Okay, but somebody learned to control that. All right, so because it ended, they, they, it, it was squashed. They're, they're like, okay, uh, 2018 lessons for my Aries. It, 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 was, it was squashed. Um, yeah, definitely dealing with, I, I think I, I definitely feel Leo here. Um, very, very determined. All right, and I think, you know, you, you learned, my Aries learned that worrying does not change an outcome. So it was like, okay, uh, you know, enough's enough. And, um you know, that's it. So I, I hope you, you had to have, it was completed. Well, here's the thing, because these two were reversed. I just thinking the door never shut properly. This is a Sagittarian lesson that was linked to this worry, doubt, discipline, not being disciplined, doubting back and forth, back and forth for the last year. Um, but you had to have learned it, but you could still laugh up. 
if you don't proceed cautiously, if you don't proceed, if there's been growth, you're good, you figure it out. If neither of you have changed, good chance you can you can repeat the cycle. But I, I'm not feeling it. I'm I'm really not. Like this came to a complete end. Somebody couldn't make a decision. In and out, in and out. Lots of intimacy here and there. Or intimacy could have even took place over a whole cycle ago. It could have been four cycles. It could have even been four years, guys. So let's find out what your lesson is for January 2019. January 2019 lesson for my Aries, please. January 2019 to my Aries. Purpose. I know what I'm, I'm here to do. Okay, so at the same time, this is this is spiritual, and they're asking you to accept it. And they're saying, I really hope you learned that you cannot change things from the past. That is clear as day. So, but I just said the same thing. I really hope you have learned. And, but there's a lot of purple. There's a lot of purple. Someone was feeling all, oh, that's more blue to me. But, and you know what's funny? Um, Libra, I was kind of feeling Libra. Libra is correlated with purple. Okay. But for some, but, but that's just, yeah, a little bit of a difficult situation, but coming out of that too, okay? If you are dealing with a Libra, a strong Libra, as in moon rising, sun, sun, moon rising, then, or Venus, then yeah, it can be a little, it can be a little difficult, but don't stress over it, okay? So... Your your best advice for this situation that is most definitely coming back around the corner. I'm going to pull for you. First half of January 2019, Aries. Best advice for this situation, please. Whoa. Page of Water. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities, too. Okay. Because the universe here is trying to put you on your path. I'm surprised I haven't seen sevens, to be honest with you. It kind of tells me you must already know. You've already accepted it. And if you haven't, that is your current lesson. There's been a lot of difficulty, you know, for sure, grounding. Maybe it's just pull, it's just bringing me back to the whole balance thing, you know. Um, but it's a new person. And if it's not a new person and it's the same person, this person is coming in new, okay? Um, the kind of saying sensitivity, that kind of stuff. Um, you have the three of five at the bottom of the deck. It's abundance. Things are looking very good. Have patience at this time. Long-term plans are about to be set into motion. Right underneath that, the tool of water. A relationship that continues to grow closer. And you're going to need to forgive or vice versa. It's a positive resolution to this conflict. And I, I knew I felt it even though I didn't see it. Okay. So this is coming back around. For some, it's brand new. But for others, um, um, it's, it's the same person. And you're going to have to deal with your karma. Okay. Because Libra is karma. Saturn is comma, okay? So there's that. I am going to pull you a Ganesha card, and I'm going to tell you where your journey is leading or taken off to in the month of January. This is the whole month of January. This is what you should be doing, going, type thing, unless you've kind of already experienced this. So I guess we'll wait and see until I read it. Aries, openness, and it's a nine, okay, and a belonging, so it's, it's that sense of feeling a purpose, the sense of, of feeling wanted, like that type of stuff, okay, that that's definitely a spiritual thing, this is to me openness, you know, come on in and, and speak from the heart, and you know, it, I'm going to read it to you, observe, evaluate, and make inquiries, before making a conclusion, because this is coming back around. When the moon is warning, and it's in the crescent, it's in the crescent phase. It's a good time to begin and review endeavors and correct mistakes. It's time to throw away what no longer served, and what no longer needs, and what needs to be cleared away. Especially access the old energy, including the clutter that you may have accumulated. In addition, 
to discarding excessive material things into your life, eliminate the unhealthy behaviors in certain relationships. You may find you're trying to decide between two options. This card is not make, talking about making a decision, but it's talking about really listening to your heart and, you, and how you're going to act. This knowledge can be many forms, including self-knowledge, secret knowledge, or even more esoteric wisdom. You may find that you are obtaining both mysterious and magical. You are a conscious person proceeding into a creative release. Give thanks and gratitude for the things that you have accomplished. Don't feel rushed or pressured to begin a new undertaking. Review your goals and regroup accordingly. Once you have all the necessary information, you will begin to feel more motivated to set new goals into new projects. Okay. So, basically, it's time to get rid of what you no longer need. Like, clear it away. It came to an end. Let it go. Douche it out. Let bygones be bygones. <sighs> Definitely get rid of clutter. All right. Um, it's time to listen to your heart and your inner voice when it comes to this relationship. And not to mention, this is, this is a spiritual ascending too. There's no question. Okay. So I love you guys. Take care of you. And, uh, I'll see you soon. Bye guys. Shake it in your jeans, while I'm tired to throw themselves. I'm still recording. Okay. You know what's funny? I guarantee you want to know why I'm still recording. Okay. Because I just told myself um, I didn't check last year's. Okay. So that would be why. So I, I could have sworn it clicked off. So, what were you last year? That's funny, because I almost came back on. I just had a wicked hot flash, too. Alright, it says your partner knows. Alright, so, yeah, somebody somebody knew something about something. It, it was that whole destined situation that, that you guys were in. Okay. I'm not quite sure what that's all about, but that's, it's, it's most definitely a thing. Okay. Um, lots of spirituality. Somebody's very intuitive. Okay. So there's that. I love you guys. Bye.